Question for you, Stephen A. Is between the Lakers and the Clippers, who will be engaging in more load management this year? Ooh, that's interesting. I would say the Clippers if Kawhi were there. But because Kawhi is not there, because he's injured and he'll be out pretty much most of the regular season at the very least, I don't think that's going to be the case with the Clippers. Paul George will get some days off, but I think for the most part, it'll obviously be the Lakers because you got LeBron at 36 and Melo at 37 and Russell Westbrook at 32 going on 33 who will be pushing the pace up a little bit more so the Lakers will be playing faster and I think the Lakers will build enough of a cushion for themselves where they can afford to take time off because they all about the postseason they ain't about the regular season so I would say the Lakers but almost by default because the Kawhi is out for the first few months of the season finally Tom what you got for me Stephen A, my question is, who wins 1v1 to 21 basketball, you or Adam Sandler? <gasps> well, I'm 53 years old. I had two knee surgeries, torn rotator cuff, and everything else over the last couple of years. I haven't played in a while. But let me say this to you. Do I think I could beat Adam, Adam Sandler? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I love Adam Sandler. He's very, very funny, very talented, really good guy. Uh, he plays more basketball than me. Don't get me wrong. I won't disrespect him. I'd have to get on a basketball court uh, and practice before I could get at him. But I will tell you, do I think I can beat him? Yes. Am I better against myself? No. And not just him, Common as well. Okay? Common too. He can't rap or act his way out of that. He get into a confrontation with me. Do I think I can get, take out Common? Yes, I can. He's a lot better looking now. And unlike me, he can afford to go bald and still look great. So I give him that. About the only thing I could beat him in is basketball and a debate. But since that's the subject, basketball. Hey, like I said regarding Adam Sandler, no disrespect. I'm gonna bet on me. Time for one of my favorite segments on the show. It's been a while since I've done this. It's called Concrete One Way, where I critique the fashion that other people in the world of sports and entertainment decide to engage in because you know I'm about my wardrobe. And what is one of the reasons why I'm about my wardrobe so much? Because if you watch me on that other show, First Take, on ESPN every weekday morning, somebody I work with wants took me shopping and helped me dress that the lovely, show. the one and only Molly Cameron Rose. What's going on, Molly? How you doing? I am so happy to be here, and I am so excited about the segment. I, I need you. I need you. I'm I, here I, for I, you. I, 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 now, you can be this here for me. This doesn't happen often where he wants my advice. That I want your advice. Okay. I absolutely do. Let's get to okay. it. But because I feel very comfortable because I live in Stephen A's yeah, world, in case that, people that, that, didn't know. That's right. That's right. She lives in there with me. That's right. The Met Gala was yep. the other night, and some people showed up. You ready okay. for this? Yes. Let's go to number one on the the wonderful Sierra, the wife of Russell Wilson for the Seattle Seahawks. Look at this outfit right here. She's spectacular in and of herself. But what did you like about this? Movie? I think it's absolutely stunning. So the Met Gala is the biggest night out in fashion. It's about 35000 a ticket, 200000 to 300000 for a table. Wow. It's the who's who. And it's a nod to her husband, obviously, wearing his jersey. And then the other thing is there's always a theme. And the theme is American independence. And what is more American than football. She's stunning. She accessorizes with mm -hmm. a Super Bowl ring from 2014. Mm -hmm. She pulled her hair back to show it off. And also, cutouts are very on trend. So you can see the waist. I'm with it. And it just shows how much she loves her man. Okay. Here for all of it. This is this dedication. It's yes. dedica Normally, I would be like this. Where's your man at? How come he ain't there with uh, you? But she, but she represented him yes. big time with this. Yes. It actually touched my heart, Molly. He's beating up on the Colts. Me. That's and right. And right as far as the theme, American football, come on. That was very on point. Okay, let's go to the next one right here. Okay. Number two on the list, give it to me. Russell Westbrook. Now, listen, I like the little chain right here mm -hmm. around the little necklace right there. The blue tuxedo, I like that as well. His hair, usually people look at it as a little bizarre. Yeah. I kind of like it for the Met Gala. I you think can't it's be ordinary. Good. I think it's up. commitment to the theme. It's very Givenchy to have the stars. And I think if he did the red also, it would be a little bit too loud. But very clean with the all navy. And I like the chain. He has a little bit of flavor. He's really becoming a fashion icon. Really? 
an yes. icon? Yes, Russell and, and Westbrook? it's not just like, oh, we're inviting a basketball player. Yes, we're inviting a fashion icon. Absolutely. Why do you say he's a fashion icon? Because, because of the you, multitude? He won't because be you see the trends and the looks he comes out on. He's a trendsetter in fashion. Okay, he was wearing a skirt the other day. Did you have a problem with that one? I just want to know. I'm go just ahead, asking. Go to the next I'm one. just asking. I'm not knocking. Go I'm go just asking. Book. I'm just wanting to make sure. Okay? You have a problem okay. with the skirt. That's no, 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 what no, no, you're delivering to no, I don't have a problem with to each his own. I love this. Okay. This, this is, is on point. He's sticking to the theme, and he's not doing too much. Like, you would absolutely wear that outfit minus the hair. I would. You would. You know what? I like what he did. If my hairline was better like his, I would rock the It was very before. creative. Okay. A plus. Right. Okay. Let's go to number one, number three. And let, oh, Lord, don't faint, Molly. I mean, we love Molly's got a, a, a female crush I on this one. J-Lo right here. I have crush on J-Lo. I this. have no male celebrity crushes, but female. Now, she's spectacular Do you know what always. it was? It is, is about her, Stephen A. It's just the fact that she's in her 50s and she owns it. And she makes young women feel invincible, like age ain't nothing but a number. Look at what you're doing at 50. She's your age. She looks absolutely incredible. It shows off her body. And again, going back to the theme, she chose Ralph Lauren, which is a very American designer. It shows off her figure so well. And she kind of went with that cowgirl type feel. And that's who she is. J-Lo in the wild, wild west, just owning things, doing things her way. And I love the hat. It's so sexy. I was getting ready to go there because to me, yeah. it would not have worked as well without the no, hat. No, it the needs hat. the hat to tie it all together. And she did the silver accessories, which are very western. I'm here for all of it. And what I really love about her, and you've stepped up your game in this area, I think real fashionistas have range. So she's showing her range. She can pull off so many different looks, and that's what I love about Jennifer Lopez. Again, she AJ, is, nothing she, but a number. She's still Jenny from the block. She is J Lo. She <laughs> is J Lo. Last but not least, okay. Rihanna with ASAP Rocky. Check this out. Now, what the hell is okay, this? Okay, let me explain this explain to you. Explain this to I'm going to go back to the theme again. All right, so Rihanna is wearing Balenciaga, and her thought, and I love this, and you should appreciate this growing up in Queens and being from New York City. It's, it's American sportswear. So she's wearing the overcoat. She's got the beanie on. It's got a little bit of that hip-hop flavor, but it's very chic. Again, the Balenciaga. And then also, as Americans, we overdo everything. She has $267 worth of... Um, Excuse me, 267 dollars. Yeah, not 267 dollars. Not 267 dollars. Okay. These aren't cubic zirconia. Okay. Carrots on because it's all about the bling bling. But I think she's just showing she's showing the streetwear aspect okay. of American fashion. Okay, but what about him? Wait, I want to know. Do you like it? Do you it like, like it? Looks like crunch berries. That's what it looks no, like. No, this is this is like you coming into work in the winter. Her with the coat. Okay, him crunch berries. Yes. Okay, first of all, yes, nobody else is mine except for him went to crunch berries because you have a problem. Okay, yes. like rose colored glasses because yes. you love crunch berries. I love crunch berries. I do kind of get it and you are absolutely a beautiful mind. Let me explain really quickly though. The designer is ERL. He seeked him out and why he wanted to do it for the American theme is it's a patchwork quilt. So back in the day, war times, you would take old clothes, your grandmother would sew it together and do a patchwork quilt. It's very American, and that was the nod there. But yes, okay. it does look like a Crunchberry blanket. It does blanket. look like Crunchberries. Okay, does this look is like fun. Bring me back again. That's right. By the way, of all the four that we yeah. mentioned, who was your favorite? I think I'm going to go with Rihanna, because what I love about Rihanna is she's fearless and she does her. Mm -hmm. And by the way, mm -hmm. you brought up... Russell Westbrook, yeah. iconic figure in fashion. Is that your way of saying he's the best dressed dude in sports? I think absolutely. Russell Westbrook. Absolutely. It's, it's going to be out of the box, but yes, in Rus fashion. Russell Westbrook, did you hear that? Molly Kim Rose said, you are an iconic figure in the world of fashion and the best dressed athlete in the world. Step your game up. Don't Damn. be jelly. I ain't jealous. <laughs> I ain't hating at all. Russell Westbrook. That's an endorsement, my brother. Trust me. We're going next year. It's an endorsement. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You are watching Stephen A's World, coming to you from the Seaport District, NYC. Brought to you by Heineken. What's up? I'm Kelly Rowland. You are Houston native, if I remember correctly, and the Rockets might have ruined your yes. spirit a little bit this season. Am I fair in saying that? Hometown pride always. <laughs> <laughs> And you're watching Stephen A's World on ESPN Plus. Don't worry, Tina. Malcolm's going to be okay. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to be fine. Is he answering, Calvin? No. Just keeps going to voicemail. Oh. I'm going back out there. I'm going with you. No, no, no. You stay here with your mother. 
I don't need anybody else I love out there. Come on, Dave. Go! Oh. Oh. Our next guest is one of your original kings of comedy and one of the premier entertainers in film and television. And guess what, y'all? He is hosting. I said hosting. All right, this year's Primetime Emmys this Sunday on CBS. Cedric the Entertainer. Welcome to Stephen A's World. What's up, big time? How are you, man? What's what up, partner? What's going on, 